Hello, today I'm going to share with you one of the magic questions that really helps us to rewire our brain and change anxiety. Hi, my name's Mark and I'm sharing with you some more tips. So this one's very, very powerful. Whenever we bring a new client into the clinic, one of the first questions that we ask is, how would you rather feel right now? How would you rather feel when you feel anxious? And it's interesting when people answer this question and don't be upset if you answer the same way because everybody does this. But they always answer in a negative way. They'll say, I want to feel normal. I want to feel less anxious. I don't want this pain. I don't want this symptom. I don't want to feel lost. I don't want to feel low mood. It goes on and on and on. Now the challenge when we do that as we know from neuroscience, is when we talk in a negative way, we reinforce what's going on. If we spend the rest of our life talking about anxiety and trauma and all the things that are going on, we reinforce those negative neural pathways. And the whole point about what we do is we don't focus on forever why you've got the problem, the negative problem that we don't want. Instead, we focus on where we'd rather be. And this is something we need to do. So this is where you need to grab a notepad and a pen and sit down for just a few minutes and say to yourself, how would I rather feel? Now this needs to be in a positive sense. So we don't want, I want to feel less anxious. I want to feel less depressed. It needs to be positive. So it might be you want to say, I want to feel happy, relaxed, calm, content, or in control. And then we focus all our energy on achieving that state. And that's one of the biggest tools that we do. We help you to recognize what's going on, how to stop it, and then how to move into a much better state. Now, neuroscience backs this up. If we keep going over all that negative stuff, it causes problems. And this is why outdated therapies like CBT, counseling and talking therapies can often make anxiety worse. Most of the clients that we see have been through two or three rounds of doing that to find they still had anxiety. So if most of the time we focus on how we want to be, we feel an awful lot better. There is a little, a little bit that contradicts that, that sometimes if we have clients that have severe trauma, we may need to work on that and we can give people the tools to do that. But 99% of the time we move forward. So stop this video, sit down, write out how you'd rather feel, Put it into a positive tense and then start using that in your language and start moving with the exercises that we show you how to move forward to that. To add into this a little bit more, you might want to think about the people that you like to be around. And years ago, one of my mentors taught me there's only two types of people in this world. They're either radiators or there's drains. Now, Radiators are positive people. We like to be around them. They build us up. They're almost like cheerleaders. We feel good around them and we just feel better. It helps us to smile and to be around them. But the drains, oh my God, and I've met some drains over the years, they're boring. They suck the energy out of you. They take up all of your time. They make you feel awful. They usually take more and more time and effort and everything else around them and we don't want to be around them. Now, an important part of what we do is we help you to recognize these people and we ask, who do you want to be around? And it might be we have to use some techniques to push away those drains, to spend less time with them. It's not always easy if it's family or close friends, but there's a benefit there where we move to being a radiator and to being around the radiators. And that leads us to a big question. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be a drain? Do you want to be the person who is always negative? Do you want to be the person who's always got anxiety? Are you the person that wants to keep nagging out your friends and talking about how bad you feel? Because we have clients who do that. The friends suddenly turn around and say, you just talk about this all the time and you go on about it. And eventually those friends drift away. And also we can pass this anxiety on. If we've got kids and family members, the more we become anxious, the more they pattern those problems and it happens again and again. So it really is about becoming that radiator, being positive. Now, some people will say, hang on a minute, positive thinking has been shown not to sort the problem out. Now, positive thinking won't sort the problem out, but it helps. If you're going to choose, are we going to be positive in our thinking or are we going to be negative? Always choose the positive. Alone, positive statements and affirmations won't fix the problem, but it helps us to move forward. 
And it's very easy to become negative because we, we get this with social media and the media. If we look at the last five years, we've had Brexit, we've had the war, we've had COVID. We've seen very strong, positive people all starting to struggle because of all that pro programming. And then the people around us have also got like that. And this is where we need to be a little bit careful. Jim Rohn said we need to be the guardian of our own mind to keep that positive information in and all the negatives out. But social media, the press, normal media, everything that's going on has trained us to be negative. And we need to recognize that and move forward. So the magic question here is how would I rather feel you can also alter it a little bit to how would I rather be and who would I rather be and then put all your focus into that. Look for the tools and the techniques that can help or maybe work with a therapist. And it, it's amazing when people start to do this, it makes a big, big difference. The other question you can ask is, how can I do this? Whenever we've got problems, whenever we've got challenges, we can either say, oh, that's it. I give up. I can't do this. Or you can say, how can I do this? And it works really nicely. So give that a good practice. Leave us a comment below. Let us know how you're getting on. Look for the link. There's lots of other resources there. And let's get your anxiety sorted.